How's it going everybody? Greetings from Nerdiest Dime and today we are going to be taking a look at Legacy Deluxe Drag Strip. And yes, uh, we're taking a look at the Legacy Stunning Cons. Oh boy, am I going to love this. Um, here is Drag Strip in his Formula One car, very inspired by the Tyro P34 with the six wheel configuration. I love it. It's very stylized though. Like it looks super goddamn sleek. Just take a quick spin around at this beauty. Let's get a close look at the details. Lovely Decepticon symbol. Wish it had some silver lining, but we live. Red stripes. A little little light on the red stripes. It's fine. Uh this color here. It's cartoon accurate. It should be gold. This color should be gold. It looks so much better. Lovely yellow, like these. This yellow plastic is stunning. Won't deny that. This chrome lining around the rims here is my touch. Is my touch. It's accurate to the actual car that would that has this. It's it's nice looking to me. I like it. I don't like that though. We'll get to that in a minute. Lovely red stripes going all the way across, which is amazing. So you have the same weird color here around the entire front until you get to here and then that, that is just ne neglected but what a surprise i love this detail here this is like inner cool venting i like that i did not notice this on the renders in person that is just such a cool little bit of detail because we all know visible head syndrome is actually the c it's funny you can even see a little let me, let me, oh shit hold on let me turn on a light here for you guys. You can see a visible seat here. It's molded in there. They tried, but it's uh, it's it, it's weird. You get the faux engine bay as a, a console here, which is kind of cool. Silver engine. Part of the engine is just unpainted, sadly. I'll take care of that myself when I customize this beauty. Love it, love it, love it. Some big wheels here that have black mushroom pegs, which certainly blend in better. Don't know why the front ones weren't that, but whatever. Got the red stripes and this color on the spoiler. It's weird that it, red, that it doesn't continue on the edge, but that's fine. It doesn't continue on the bottom either, despite the molding would believe otherwise. And yeah, very clean. Like This is one of the cleanest alt modes in all of transformers is from the top and the bottom like i said spotless you wouldn't even know if these were his shins if you did not know that it's insane how clean this is not a single bit of robot chunk although admittedly i wonder why the cam shaft why this drive shaft is here like this is a formula one car they don't need those Dr drive shafts are for like not this car <laughs> But, I digress. Let us get down to some size comparisons. Starting with Runamuck, we're going to do a couple of Decepticars. I like this. Uh, Scale-wise, he's too big. Like, for a drag, like a Formula 1 car, too big. Even for a car. Still nice, though. Oh, oh, sorry about the camera. I prefer if he was just a teeny bit smaller, but that's fine. It's still a really good, like shot to see these two next to each other yep there's one of sky tread if or if you're nasty uh <laughs> flywheels yeah that's kind of cute it's adorable but obviously not to scale of course not battle slash and road trap or battle trap depending on your preference And the Dominus Criminal Pursuit for the end of the Decepticars, anyway. Yeah, they look good. You got Barricade, and of course, for this, anyway, uh, Counterpunch. Lovely. How about some Autobots to start with? Uh, <laughs> Punch. <laughs> Beautiful. Definitely a different time period of Transformers cards, especially for the main line. I will definitely say. Velocitron override. <laughs> Fellow Velocitronian. Absolutely. Love this girl. They look great. 
<laughs> I love this super alien alt mode. And for being a Voyager, uh, well, let me make sure the camera's right. Almost just as long. Definitely a long one. I will absolutely say that, like, that's a long car. And Ironhide. Big old boxy van. Big boy van indeed. I like how small he looks next to Ironhide's van mode. That's pretty, that's pretty nice. The contrasting red and yellow. And of course, different factions. Of course, the twins. Being a small car them himself, or I guess themselves. Yeah, definitely doesn't look that bad next to them, of course. Earthrise Optimus. Eh, this Prime is definitely looking a little bit worse for wear, as I he got some gray spots and no smokestacks. He's going to be in the middle of a custom. But, yes. And... This doesn't look too bad. Prime's obviously way too small for a semi, but it looks good. Almost looks like Fast and the Furious could be done, eh? <laughs> Who gets that reference? And Prime Optimus. Oh, yeah. Your boy has a Prime Optimus. That's a truck. That is an Optimus Prime right there. I'll tell you that. That's more like it. Man, that's, a, that's a big boy truck right here. With a big boy racer. Very, very nice indeed. I love this look more. So, let's take a quick look at these accessories. He technically comes with two, uh, being these two blasters here. They are identical. However, you can see that this has some metallic purple on the body of the scope and on the lining of the barrel. That's my touches because, for mine, I kind of like the extra bits of purple rather than just leaving this all black. Here it is stock. Let me bring up the light. Here it is stock. It's mainly just a stark metallic purple, which looks quite nice in person. Come with two of these. And they just sit on these ports right here at the back. I gotta say, I really like that. They, they do stick out a bit, but they do not stick out terribly. I love the way this looks. It does remind me of the G1 toy cannons. Speaking of, how about I show you guys Matrix Workshop's G1 toy cannons for the Legacy Stunticons, starting with drag strips. Oh my god, when I found out about these, I knew damn well I was going to buy these. You can see a delicious metallic purple here. It looks quite exquisite. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Let's move drag strip back. It is very nice in person. Very, very toy accurate. Got the big old square barrels here. Just these massive cannons. So they have these two tabs at the back that go into these two little, like... Actually, hold on. It's easier if I show you like this. These two slots right here at the ankles. Just put those bad boys in there. And there you go. You got Dragster with his supersized toy cannons. Oh yeah, I think that's that is awesome. That's fucking cool. Alrighty, let's get out of transformation, shall we? Alright, so first thing we're going to do is get rid of the weapons. Let's take that out. Let's put that on the side. Take those out and bring those to the side. And because of how tight it is, you can already see it's starting to help us. So, undo this back bit here. Fold it open. Bring the feet down just one click. Swing these down, like so out all the way you got these two tabs right here that will go into those two slots right here slam those in bring the feet all the way out to untap the legs from each other and you get the legs all done oh quite simple and then for the torso and up let's just the camera here oh sorry about that stand stand go now turn that around up untab it from these two tabs to go into these two slots right there swing it around and then going to flip these wheels back like so then you take these side panels here and then you untab it from this tab right here that goes into that slot right there untab it and remove arm and then untab at the base 
and swing those down until they sit like so. Rotate these fins back and then fold those all the way back. You have this little slot that goes that will rest on this tab right here. And then up, flip out the head, bring this down as far as it will go on this entire base. Bring this up like so. And you have the two same tabs that will go into these two slots of the mushroom pegs now. Quite clever. Your thud, a good old thud. Rotate at the waist like so. And there you have Legacy Drag Strip in robot mode. And yeah, he does look pretty damn good in robot mode. I like it. I hate it when everyone says it looks just like the G1 model, because I can tell you right now, that is not the G1 model. It looks almost nothing like it. The only thing it has are the wheel shoulders, the head, the engine chest, and that's it. And I guess the legs, but like that, I guess. that That's not the G1 model. It does look good, though. His proportions are a little bit too funky for my taste, but I do like the different like stylizations such as the arms and the fins on his shoulders i really like that look let's get a close look at that head sculpt there come on focus on the head focus on that head let's turn that over uh it is a quite lovely head sculpt this has also been customized by yours truly the visor is now a metallic red and a metallic blue, which it was once silver. The stock head looked like this. Let me show you here. This is the stock head. You can see here. Quite nice. I do love the silver. It's nice that we finally have silver faces, but I much prefer the blue face of drag strip it's got more variety the orange paint the purple paint is just very nicely touched up and overall it, it's just a it's just a good looking oops, oops zoom out zoom out it's just a good looking drag strip eh, faux, faux parts you know how i feel about faux parts um it's awful but this one is just it's fine it does the job, and considering how tiny it is, it obviously can't use the actual engine. Most of this we've seen in vehicle mode, more or less. I like the detail on the thighs, it it gives it that sh like lining in actual ra racing jumpsuits. Love all this detail on the legs. Certainly love this hosing and pipe and whatnot, whatever. On his shin, it certainly gives his thighs some life as I bump the camera. <laughs> Yeah, you can see this is what I meant, like, the stripe and the, that color are not continuing on the foot, even though they are right here. Like, they could, they could easily have done that, but I'll do that myself. Yeah, and it does look very, very nice. You can see here's the real engine. Uh, like I said, it's just impossible to this be on his chest, but, eh, whatever. I mean, they could have easily just put it on his back and not give him the engine chest, like the IDW design, but work for what you got. Wheel shoulders are always nice. I do find it interesting. <laughs> this is definitely this definitely does bother me because it's so weird looking. Let me show you. This is what it looks like, and it's just it's so it's visually annoying to me. But at the same time, it's it's not terrible. And yeah, like he is also quite clean from the back. He just got some really thick, very thick knees. If these were pointed the other way, that would be good. But. This is what we got. And he is quite lovely indeed. Now, let me adjust the camera here. For articulation, we only have a swivel at the head. It does a full 360. Got the fins here on ball joints. So if you don't like them being pointed straight up, you can have them inward. You can also have them outward like this. Shoulders go a full 360. Although, admittedly, the fin will get in the way, so it's best to make sure you maneuver it correctly. You can also have the fins like this, like a like a head protector for bullets. You can go, make sure these are out as well. You can go all the way out. Got a bicep swivel. Single joint elevator gets you just a little 
pat about 95 degrees have been which is great nothing at the wrist yeah we'll live with it waist swivel legs can go forward this far you can bend the knee to make it point forward more and they can go back that far i could do the full splits from forward and back and way more than the full splits to the sides that's quite nice Star scream yeah, on that level. Thigh swivel. Single joint knee bend that gets you the full range, but considering the design of the leg at that point, it's kind of it's just useless. <laughs> Proportions are so terrible, he cannot do a decent kneeling pose. But he also has an ankle tilt, and due to transformation, you can bring the foot down. You can even you can Due to how loose it is, it clicks for the security, but it's kind of loose, so it allows it to sit in more natural positions, like so. It is... He's definitely quite fluid, if a little bit hindered by his proportions. I will definitely say I love how poseable he is, but I can tell he should have had a lot more posability. It's just the proportions fault. Let's get down to some size comparisons, starting with Runamuck here. And due to the way this guy transforms, I actually really do like how this works. It's nice how different, differently stacked they are. Like he's chunky, but he's he's athletic. That's pretty cool. Sky Tread and uh, 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 I was asking for Battle Trap. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> ah, thank you. That's more like it. Yep, and Battle Trap. There we go. Much. Better. I definitely like how that looks. I love how little vehicles turn into big boy robots. Uh, like, I really do like it. It's pretty cool. Siege sound wave, and I actually do quite like how that looks. It does make it feel like sound wave really is that big of a boss next to other Decepticons. And of course, Megatron, uh, their creator. If you're stupid, <laughs> that looks really good. It's like again, just hulking leader of the Decepticons next to a simple simple race car Decepticon. Quite like this. And of course the Dominus Criminal Pursuit. Really showing you what the scale was like back then to today. In person it's not that huge a change but it's still like you can see he's big boy next to the modern stuff. On the Autobots oh calm down drag strip you know this. Jeez. You already know. Relax. <laughs> On the Autobot side of things, here he is with Punch. Same just as Counter Punch, really. The Queen herself, Override. Again, just kind of shows the mass work behind these two. I quite love. I quite love how they're not. She's taller, but she's not that much taller. Still pretty cool. Studio Series Ironhide, uh, I'll be honest, I kind of wish these guys were this big. Like, I do kind of wish the Stundicons were that big, like the Limbots. But, I digress, still a nice looking duo, just like, it just shows like, all that matters is how you do your work, not what you do with it. The Lambros, with Sunstreaker being mighty jealous of Dragstrip's far be better shade of yellow. Again, very nice looking. It's like not too tall, but not too short either. And the Primes. I'm quite surprised at how well this guy scales with the modern stuff. I still wish he was like, you know, like a full inch taller than him. But that's, that's the only one can dream. It's still really nice to see, like, again, just how your mass is handled. It, and he looks great next to either of these guys, even if admittedly he wouldn't necessarily blend with this. Give him some roundness, and then you, there you go. Still looks great. Let's take a quick look at those accessories again. Let's give him the blasters here. You can put it, of course, in his hand, or with being the modern line, all the ports around him. Got a port here. You got a you got his hand. You got a port. They got you got four ports all over his back. You got two on his shin on his calves rather, right next to his knees. And technically, you have these, but do the way it works, it technically doesn't necessarily go there unless you force it in which i'm not going to do you can store it right there on his shin very comfortably or 
if you like me. Put them both in his hand. If I can. Come on. There we go. Put them both in his hand. Or, if you're especially like me, you would get yourself this Matrix Workshop set. And what you can do is you can take these off of this uh, uh, adapter piece, whatever. You can take it off. It has some nice detail, of course. Oh, something fell. <laughs> and it just uses the two pegs here. So the way I did it is I recommend trimming down the pegs. Let me show you. Trimming down the pegs. They were once circles, but uh, come on, focus. They were once circles, but make sure you trim the the edges, like this one and this edge. Make sure they're trimmed flat. Like, do the same on this end. You'll see. Instead of putting them in his hands like the pro, like this picture show you, uh, I actually put them in the arm ports here. So, I actually sit comfortably in there, rather than forcing it in and, and, and might actually break it. So... I highly recommend you shave those pegs down. And there he is with the big boy cannons. Unfortunately, this has no real storage. Sadly, it's throw it to the side. And yeah, there he is with those cannons. I think that looks super cool, honestly. So that's been my review on Legacy Deluxe Drag Strip. And to start off this new Legacy Minosaur set, I only have breakdown left the spoilers uh definitely a great start i highly recommend you get this guy as like just a good he's good as his own but he's definitely better with the crew i highly recommend you get him after market prices you might be lucky make sure you find it for a decent price you might even be lucky and find it in stores like i did once upon a time but Yes, this has been my review for Legacy Drag Strip. I hope you all enjoyed this. As you can see, he does pull off some decent poses when you get the proportions just right, even if they are terrible proportions. I'm looking at these thighs here, damn it. But he does pose like a dream, and he does look epic doing it. I hope you all enjoyed this. Everybody, have a lovely day, evening, or night. This has been Nerdiest Time. Roll it out.